Awesomeness Junkies, welcome back to Hustle is for Life Motivation. My goal here is to come and serve you in each and every single show. And the criteria I have for the guests is threefold. When I bring on a guest, I want to make sure that first of all, number one, they have created extraordinary results for themselves. Number two, they have a great story. They have a great journey that we can follow and we can learn from. And number three, they are doing something amazing to add value to other people's lives. And tonight I'm joined by somebody who is in the education sector. He founded the Prepped and Polished uh, company and uh, he has worked with elementary school, secondary school, college level students and adult students to improve their grades and test scores. And he started off actually by working for you know, other companies and along the way, he develops his own vision. The cool thing is he wasn't afraid to act on his vision. He went ahead and you know, took action and now he runs po uh, prepped and polished and he's got a whole team that have col uh, collectively traveled, check this out, 100,000 miles to educate people in person. And the amazing thing is that he's always trying to add value to other people. He actually is a columnist for Answer.com. He writes and produces videos for his educational blog, where he's got over 300 videos and podcasts. He interviews educators, mentors, and inspiring leaders on his Prepped and Polished podcast. He's also worked. For, uh, he's also a member of nonprofit organizations such as Bridge Over Troubled Waters, Mass Mentoring, Big Brothers, and Big Sisters of America. He's run three marathons since 2012 till 2014, collectively raising fifteen thousand dollars. So he is a value machine. This guy is always there and he's trying to add value to other people in one way or another. So please help me welcome. Alexis Avila, uh, Avila, is that right? I think I got it right. Perfect. <laughs> awesome, brother. Well, welcome to the show, hey. man. Thanks so much, Talal. Appreciate, <laughs> appreciate your time, man. You're welcome. I'm sorry, we had a bit of an issue, you know, it's rescheduling and reorganizing it a few times to get to this stage, but uh, let's make it happen. And uh, I'm just really excited to have sure. you. Sure. Cool. So let's Same here. Awesome, man. Well, let's start from the beginning. You were working for other companies, right? And along the way, you developed your own vision. So can you actually kind of take us back in time and tell us what happened? What made you to go ahead and take action to develop that vision to become this amazing thing that you have created, prepped and polished? The thing that's kind of taken me here, if we, if we were to paint a, a broad brush stroke, is I didn't really like the nine to five kind of situation. Um, even when I was a teenager, I quit a job or I got fired because I just didn't like working for um, maybe my own boss. I think, I think that's kind of just the career I paid for myself. Right. Where I am today. Nice. You know, so. That's quite interesting because lately on the show, I've had quite a few people who were actually working in corporate, had great jobs, but they, they left those jobs and they actually went ahead to follow uh, in their vision, right? They went ahead and actually built something else. So it's quite interesting that obviously, you know, you kind of had the similar sort of journey along the way where you had a job, you left it, and then you moved on and created Prepped and Polished. So what was your vision behind Prepped and Polished when you started? Um, just to have a, just to have a one to one um, tutoring company um, where I can implement uh, you know my skill sets um, and utilize my strengths. Tutoring company that was started by an educator versus started by say a, an MBA graduate with a uh, business plan. So um, kind of wanted to business for for an educator to start. So. And I wanted just to do everything kind of like the right way, just like really high quality, slow growth, and uh, just kind of you know, just do podcasts. Um, you know, really like my podcast is all about bringing kind of like what you do, just bring like kind of like influential or inspiring. And, and that's what education is all about, is inspiring you to do your best. So, 
Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And the great thing is, obviously, you have built an amazing team. Your tutors are very experienced and they're professional educators or graduates for some of the most elite schools like Harvard and Columbia and, you know, uh, Duke University, Michigan, MIT, like all those places. I'm just wondering, how, how did you manage to actually assemble such an amazing team? Um. Just over over the years, you kind of learn where to um, find find talent, um, and you know I'm from Boston, and there's quite a few, there's not a shortage of you know really good universities around here. Um, just down the street is Wellesley College, and Harvard Harvard is a couple towns away. So there's like, you know there's not a shortage of really talented, smart you know uh, teachers around here. So it's it's actually not too hard. Mm-hmm. It's really about finding somebody with the right personality hire uh, students to do but do well as well yeah yeah awesome so when you are actually working with students i mean i know you 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 and your team work on a one-to-one basis right yes always one-to-one always one-to-one so what what kind of like tests do you help your students to prepare for uh the essay SAT uh, is a big one. Right. ACT, um, those are like college entrance examinations. Yeah. And then we do private school admission tests like the SSAT and ISE, academic subjects like science, like chemical, and math major. So we do a lot of math um, and uh, and study skills. Right. Okay. Okay. Nice. Awesome. And I mean, you you talked a little bit earlier about slow growth. Right. And I know when you have something new like a startup, it can take a lot of time, a lot of effort, money and energy to really get it off the ground. What was your experience like? Uh, my experience was always just kind of run my company uh, on a bootstrap diet, um, on budget. budget. Um, so tutoring company, great to start when, if you don't have a lot of money because you really um, and uh, make copies and put together mailers. Um, you need money for stamps. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, and uh, it's just really one student at a time. And you, you just start by building your own clientele for yourself. And then eventually if you get, you know, big and uh, a little bit of a following, you might have the uh, privilege of hiring people to work uh, under you. And that's, that's where I'm at. Right, right. So how big is your team right now? Uh, I got about 20 tutors right now. Oh, nice. Um, cool. Yeah. And uh, we got one uh, really nice office uh, in South Natick with about um, for one-to-one sessions. And then uh, and then we go to homes and we work with students all over the world online. So I got about 20 tutors. Nice. Uh, tutors come and go. Um, I got like kind of like about 10 who stay with me for a while. Hmm. Kind of hiring. So if there's any good tutors out there, uh, <laughs> yeah yeah absolutely absolutely yeah why not why not absolutely i like that absolutely <laughs> cool man so al- along the way did you have any mentors or did you have you know a coach or somebody like to, to to help you and guide you along the way to where you actually wanted to be oh yeah definitely man i was um you know, I the the person who got me started with tutoring was a very sick tutor himself who quit his engineering was out the door, um, and he was making more money tutoring than engineering. So, oh, wow. um, so he really taught me like the businesses, um, the you know, the step repair sessions, you know, things that, to make it really high quality. Yeah. And in terms of the business end of things, um, I really was like, I just jumped into books and I jumped into, um, which is a. Uh, popular uh, podcast series and uh, just just try to learn how to run a business. I, I don't have an MBA, so it was just uh, just jumping in and trying different things. I joined this or- organization called SCORE, which offers free business consultation. Right. Um, and, and basically the whole thing is like it's, an ex, it's a retired CEO of a very uh, high successful company okay. who just teaches you one-to-one. So I had a lot of mentor- mentors. Mm-hmm. Nice, yeah, yeah, and uh, you know, you you talk about the fact that uh, having you had a lot of mentors, and and that's great because for a lot of people who are here with us right now, they might be 
a stage in their life where they're feeling stuck, where they're wanting to go and do something else. Like in your case, it was the fact that you wanted to change your job. You wanted to work for yourself. You didn't like the nine to five thing. For somebody else, it might be their finances, their relationships, their, you know, uh, spirituality, whatever else, their career, etc. And they they might not know where to start. So obviously you have very kindly helped us out by saying the good place to start is to go get a mentor or a coach, right? So they can tell you how to get to the point where you want to be. Awesome. Now, you mentioned a podcast. Um, can you can you say the name again? Because it, 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 it just kind of got cut off at that point and, it, and I lost that name. Can you please tell me the name of the podcast you mentioned? Oh, the, the podcast that I, I followed when I started tutoring, um, I, and I don't know if it's still around, but I know it's an organization, and it's really inspiring. It's called Startup Nation. Startup Nation. Okay, cool. Yeah, awesome. So for people... Yeah, yeah, yeah that was big. I nice. really like them. Nice. So for people in the audience, it's Startup Nation. Okay, go check it out yeah. if you're interested. Awesome. You'll like them. You'll like them a lot. Like, for example, they did this, like, they did this, like, uh, webinar. Mm-hmm. And they had all these guest speakers like Kendra Todd, who won The Apprentice uh, for, with Donald Trump, so the show, right. the state dynamite, and and um, and then they had like all these entrepreneurs. So it's it's like a, a it's like a community right. of entrepreneurs. Nice, nice, awesome, man. Cool. Well, guys, if you're interested, go and check that out. Alexis, I'm interested to know what drove you to go ahead and do all of this and create this amazing business with some um, an, an like, absolutely phenomenal team? Um, what drove me was, um, it's kind of hard to explain, but like I've always been pretty self-motivated. Um, so like, for example, like every day, like this year, like I started since, since January 1st doing 150 sit-ups and push-ups. Nice. You know, so it just starts. So when you start a business, you got to like basically do a little bit every day. Mm. Um, you know, you can't just talk the talk. You got to just get out there. And I just always, I've always just kind of been that kind of person. Like I've always kind of like wanted to create my own thing. I didn't want some, somebody else to tell me. Right. Um, so it takes a little bit of that, like, you know, and, and then also I was, I was really big on just following like my strengths, you know, like, going for where the money is like i have a lot of friends in college i went to michigan right and they're killing it with money i mean they 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 were making i mean they were following they went to all this if that's your passion i went into education i didn't go into it for the money really good with working with -with, one-on-one with kids i was just i wasn't great at a lot of things but i was good at one-on-one and i was like you know what let's make money doing that do you Mm -hmm. see what i'm saying so my motivation is just my motivation is to be happy working. I don't want to just live the rest of my life just doing a nine to five and in and, and, and a cubicle, so to speak. In that, I mean, there's a lot of you know, nice people who be, you know, working in cubicles. It just wasn't for me. So mm-hmm. whether it is working outside, you love nature, you know, just find what you want to do and then try to figure out a way to make money at it. There is a way to do that in, um, at least in my country. And, and, I, and I, th- I think that in yours as well. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And that's great advice, you know, the fact that you should follow your happiness. Yeah. Follow your passion, what you're interested in, and then figure out a way to earn, monetize it and earn money. And I think that's fantastic advice because a lot of people, you know, yeah. th- th- that's what stops them, right? That's what stops them to go ahead and take action. They're like, am I going to be able to make money from this? And they don't go ahead and take action and follow their dreams, right? But you did. So that's awesome, man. Yeah, and, and 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 just let me let me just be straight up. Like, I didn't make money for a long time, a long wow. time. I was, wow. you know, but the money, you know. So if, if your motivation is money, follow the money. I mean, you'll probably find it. My motivation was to be fulfilled, and 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 then the money came came after the fact. But even when you make some money, mm. you're going to be happy. It means you just have more problems. <laughs> so, so just keep that in mind. You know what I mean? Like, like I, like I made a purposeful decision not to franchise right away. Right. If I do it down the road, maybe I'll do it. Mm. You can make, but that's you know that's maybe problems down the road. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I, but I know a lot of people make a lot more money than I do, and they got about 15 offices, mm. tutoring offices, 
but then they have to go to 15 different places. They never see their family. You know, they never have time for themselves. And they look out of shape. Yeah, they have a lot of money. Maybe we'll buy them a trip to Asia or something like that. But think about those things. Money won't bring you happiness. But time well spent will bring you happiness. Mm, you know? That's powerful, man. Yeah, that's powerful. Time well spent yeah. will bring you yeah. happiness. That is powerful. Yeah. I love it. Okay. Awesome, man. So in terms of time well spent, how, how would you define time well spent? Let's go down that rabbit hole. Time well spent is, is basically not feeling like you have to, um, you know, get, get your deadline in right away mm. to succeed. You know, it, it's, uh, it, it, you have like time just to really uh, get into the day, to jump into the day with a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, mails or, or maybe like write a, you know, write an essay or something like that for your blog. Yeah. You know, kind of really like free up, you know, your creative juices uh, throughout the day and not, and not necessarily feel the pressure of having to, you know, uh, meet a deadline, you know, which causes a lot of stress, you know, yeah. the deadline will be met, but you don't have to do it right away. Um, those kinds of, so uh, having just some flexibility, like for example, I was able to, you know, get a haircut, you know, you know, for my, do something for myself on a Wednesday, you know, uh, or uh, last Wednesday right. at 12 o'clock, at 12 o'clock. But I know a lot of my friends are working nine to five and, and they mm. have to get a haircut on Saturday mornings. Yeah. yeah five job and they'll get, they'll get fired. You see what I'm saying? So um, it's just really just having a well-balanced life during the work week. I'm not saying I'm like not work at all. You're working a lot. Mm. Yeah. You know, if, in fact, you're working at, unorthodox hours yeah but it just you know just just having just like the liberty to be able to meet like a mentor lunch hours um or you know escaping for like a cup of coffee and just you know reading a book for like a half hour just kind of like then and then you can go back to work you know so just like lots of little things awesome awesome yeah i like that man that's good um i'm wondering do you have any routines or practices or beliefs that actually allow you to perform at that high level um yeah absolutely i'm I'm a big proponent of fitness um i'm not saying jog you know 10 miles a day yeah you know i jog 10 miles a day and i eat you know you know i'm just a vegan you know i'm just trying to say like get the listeners to do that Okay, I've run three marathons, but I don't run. I don't run anymore now. Right. You know, um, and I have big feet and bow legs. I'm not like my body's not equipped to run marathons, but I did it. Mm. I'm glad I did it. Mm. But I'm just trying to say, like, I'm a big proponent of fitness, man. Like when you get out of the shower, like putting a little bit of moisturizer on your face, so, and also dressing a little bit. Right. Usually, I find I'm in a better mood, but more dressed up. You know, shoveled. Uh, I don't feel as good. So I'm just trying to say, like, take care of your body and your mind. You read every day. It, usually everything else just kind of falls into place. That, that's the way I live my life pretty mm. much. Try to be the best me I can be. Yeah. And then and then I can. it gives me the, 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 the desire to kind of succeed, succeed in business. And then on top of that, in terms of business stuff, you have to hustle every day. Mm. You got to work on your business every day and chip away at it. Yeah. To, to be successful. I've been doing this for 18 years. Mm, wow. A lot of people haven't. Yeah. So, so I'm very unique in that situation. A lot of people don't have those kind of miles in yeah. a business. Yeah. The more that you work on your craft, the better you're going to be as long as you chip away every day at it. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. That's some solid advice, man. That's no. some really solid advice. I love it. I absolutely love it. Right, we're going to have to keep this one short because of time restrictions, uh, but I absolutely appreciate you sure. taking the time to be here with us. Uh, it's been absolutely amazing connecting with My you. My pleasure. Yeah, it's been amazing connecting with you. And Same you, here, man. Yeah, I love yeah. your podcast. I really do. Big fan. Thank it's, you, man. You know, love to come back, you know, help you out anytime. Yeah, absolutely. Love to have you back for round two. I mean, there's loads of other things <laughs> we can dig deep there, you know, but um, yeah, absolutely. this time due to time restrictions, we're just going to have to make it short. But we'd love to have you back on, um, and uh, I'm sure we can arrange something in the near future. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to, man. I, I love talking about it, and uh, it's good for me to talk. You know, my <laughs> wife wants me to talk more, so thanks for <laughs> helping me do that. <laughs> yeah, always there for you, man. Well, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to be here with us. We 
got so much value from Alexis in this short period of time. He's got some really powerful advice for you guys and for me to follow. So I'll be taking some of that stuff on board. Um, and I hope you guys too. But Alexis, how can people reach out and how can we help you right now? Uh, you can help me by, well, I'm, you know, I'm looking for a good tutor, but you can also check out my uh, podcast. It's preptandpolished.com forward slash podcast. And also I have this amazing feature on the front page of my website where you can instantly chat with me. So if you ever have any questions, like after listening to this podcast, questions about, you know, how to start a business or whatever, I'd be happy. I, I always, I get those instantly on my phone right. and, I'll, and I'll shoot you, uh, I'll shoot you a text back so we can always be in the loop. Oh, perfect. That's amazing. And guys, Alexis just gave you the keys to the kingdom. So no reason for you to not take action now. Okay, so go ahead, take action, get in touch, start yeah. that chat. Okay, who knows where it's going to go, right? But Alexis has openly offered you to give you advice, to help you out if you have any questions. Go ahead, jump on that chat, and let's take it from there. Right, I have to run. <laughs> so <laughs> thanks so much once again, man. And we'll connect again soon. But guys... Stay awesome, hustle hard, and I'll catch you in the next one.